Hey guys, I'm about to meet my friend Olga. She's the sales director at the Casa Bella. It's a new project in the downtown neighborhood. If you'd like to learn more, keep watching. And numbers, absolutely. We are 77% sold at this point. We have the water views from uh, pretty much every unit in um, our buildings. All the lighting comes from Italy. All the finishes, all the materials you're going to see throughout the building is imported from Italy. So we have some units starting as low as $900 per square foot. Wow. Hi, Olga. Hi. Good to see you, finally. Good to Thank see you, you as well. Thank you for having me. And uh, so please give us um, as much information about the project. I've heard a lot about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'd like to hear from you. Um, thank you for coming, first of all. Um, of course, so let's talk about the project a little bit. Uh, it's a very exciting stage in the project development. Why? Because we are uh, breaking ground very soon. So we're clearing the site um, and finally preparing for groundbreaking. We should take place in the next six to eight weeks. So um, as you know, it is uh, one of the best times to buy uh, pre-construction. Um, we are an amazing project, an amazing location. Um, uh, downtown is blowing up recently, so it's going through this uh, really amazing transition, um, breaking records as far as the sales and the infrastructure is growing. So we're right on Biscayne and 15th, uh, which is this little pocket of downtown. It's called mm -hmm. Adrian Arts um, uh, Neighborhood or Arts and Entertainment Neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we're right across the street from the Performing Center, which people um, appreciate a lot of uh, our buyers refer to it as Broadway of Miami so you have this culture and entertainment right next uh, to the building and besides the uh, performing center we also have the museums we have the arena you have a, sh a future shopping mall that's being built Miami World Center I'm sure you've heard about that so you're going to be able to walk and experience culture art entertainment shopping dining um, and besides that you are surrounded by parks if you look on the map uh, which um, of particularly of Miami and uh, our project, we have it as well. You can see how much green uh, we have around us. There's about 30 acres of green spaces in Miami. And people come to Miami for what? For the weather, obviously, and the water. And we have the water views from uh, pretty much every unit in um, our building. So, uh, and the walkability is the key. And that's why I think a lot of buyers choose um, Casa Bella. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, of course, we have amazing team here, right? Um, the Related Group is a developer. They're the largest developer here in South Florida. So they've done um, over over 100,000 condominiums at this point, um, a luxury product. Um, so it's great to work with them, very reputable, you know, been around for 43 years. And we have um, an amazing brand, b, &B Italia, uh, which is an Italian brand, iconic um, furniture designer. They're known for collaborating with very well-known architects, interior designers worldwide. Um, Lady Zaha Hadid, for example, uh, that we love here in Miami. She designed a collection for b, &B Italia and 1000 Museum was uh, one of the buildings furnished by um, uh, by Beam Italia. So very high-end brand, uh, amazing uh, developer. We also have amazing interior designer Piero Lissoni, who mm -hmm. is creative director of Beam Italia. Uh, but he also done a lot of projects here in Miami, and his designs are amazing because very European, um, a little bit different, very warm, very inviting designs. And he handpicked all the furniture, which is going to be from Beam Italia. Um, all the lighting comes from Italy. All the finishes all the materials you're going to see throughout the building is imported from Italy so you will walk in into the building and experience completely different lifestyle we like to say it's a celebration of Italian lifestyle in Miami which you will experience from the minute you walk in so I think those are kind of the key components why this building has been so successful in sales um, and can you please mention the numbers numbers absolutely we are 77 percent sold at this point mm -hmm. uh, which is a great milestone for the project um, we still have amazing inventory available starting from one bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms um, and great pricing and that brings me to another key component here as far as the pricing um, we are probably one of the best price projects here in Miami and I'm talking finished product which we'll talk about finishes and I'll show you in the showroom what we have um, it is really uh, incredible to see product like this at this price is related is known for being pioneers and everything they do and the reason we're able to offer this luxury product at this price is because this lot, the land that they're building on, it was purchased more than 10 years ago before anyone thought downtown 
is going to be the next thing, which it is, right? All the uh, the best projects are now being developed in downtown. So we do have that extra margin, I guess, to pass to the uh, to the buyer. So we have some units starting as low as nine hundred dollars per square foot, wow. which uh, finished product, private elevators, flooring throughout, high ceilings, deep terraces. So these are all the features of the luxury building, and that's another reason why people come to us, and we've been so successful here. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. And um, I have a question while you were mm -hmm. saying, I was thinking about my questions. Mm -hmm. And the Pierre Lissoni, he, he lives here in Miami. He's done some projects here. I'm just curious, do you know? Uh, I don't think he lives here. He has his office in New York. He's yeah. originally from Milan. Um, but you probably know the, the buildings that he's done. Uh, one of them... Um, I think Paraiso also Paraiso, was uh, related, right? One Paraiso. One Paraiso the, okay. Their very first building, he did that one. Um, if you know ritz Carlton in Miami Beach, one mm -hmm. of them, Monaco Yacht Club. He's doing ritz Carlton in Pompano. Um, mm -hmm. What other projects he's doing now? He's quite well known and he's, he's really doing a lot of work with related. But uh, he has a lot of also projects going on in New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. That's where his base is now okay yeah. and let's talk about related what mm -hmm. else they finish what type of product uh, products i know they have done a lot of a lot of different yeah. condos here but let's mention some names i think paraiso is one of them right paraiso, the Hyde Midtown. exactly Hyde midtown um well let's start with brickle you can walk i think a block in brickle without uh, seeing a related building so you have a celeste lux you have a celeste brickle you have mm -hmm. brickle heights you have some older buildings from uh you know the 2000s because they were one of the like icon for example mm -hmm, yep. um, they were one of the first people you know to start develop uh brickle in the 2000s and then they started in edgewater before anyone else was developing edgewater it was Icon, it was Paraisos. Um, they were also the ones who sort of discovered the South of Fifth, mm. South of Fifth before Related built and Related done 90% of the product on South of Fifth, which is today the most expensive neighborhood. Mm. Um, in uh, Miami Beach, they did the Portofino, they did uh, Marea, Apogee, which is one of the, uh, I think, top top per square foot. Uh, they, they basically discovered the South of Fifth, they branded it as Sophie neighborhood, and that's mm. what they're, they're, they're known for. And even every time I do a Related project uh, as an in-house, uh, um, I always get um, investors who purchase with Related before and they kind of, they have this certain following because they know they will always make money with a Related product, with a Related building. They know exactly what kind of quality they're getting, what kind of amenities they're getting. Mm -hmm. So they know uh, they have this perfect formula of what they need to put in the building to make it, um, you know, into a beautiful, obviously, living experience, uh, to have a great lifestyle. Um, and now they're doing um, a lot of uh, branded buildings. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see, and I'm sure all your buyers are yeah. shopping around when the only project that they're considering um, and you will hear um, I'll mention uh, Nomad and San Regis and mm -hmm. Ritz Carlton um, they recently launched I think it's Waldorf and Pompano so they're doing yeah, a yeah, lot of branded product right so in the Dolce branded Gabbana product and the Brickle. Dolce Gabbana that's a different um, that's not related but that's a that's also uh, the power of the brand is very mm -hmm. important and I think related is the one uh, one of the first developers who started that trend mm -hmm. in Miami they they know that brand adds value right value when you resell value when you rent so and this is one of those things that um related re recognize they recognize the trend they recognize what's going to bring value to the buyer whether you invest mm -hmm. or an end user um it's still even if you're an end user it's still an investment for you so um I yeah i can tell you from my experience one thing it helps developer to sell the product for mm -hmm. sure because uh, if you have a big brand name it helps it helps mm -hmm. for the um, first time buyers, let's call it that way, investors, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, they look at the name and they, okay, I've heard about it. I trust that name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy it. And the same thing I can tell you, they think the same way. If they know that name, when they're going to resell it, then the next buyer, he will be familiar with the name. It will be easy to sell. Absolutely. Since I, uh, as I mentioned, there's different projects as well. I've been working with uh, mm -hmm. other buildings and I can tell you from my experience, yes, that's how it works and people look at the names absolutely and we will be able we are in our showroom and design district now it's a smaller showroom uh bnb italia is opening their store that's going to be actually the largest store furniture store in the design district i think they're right. opening they're aiming to open by november 1st so okay. that will be a great um introduction for those people who maybe have not heard of bnb i, I will doubt. get my, my invitation by email absolutely right? <laughs> you will get it so that will be a great introduction to the brand and just to see what they are because it is truly an amazing brand can you tell me if uh, you have any penthouses left? Yeah, we do have um, exciting collection of the penthouses. So we have uh, 10 penthouses in total. Um, the, some of them 
our triplexes, some of them are duplexes, and then we have our lower penthouse floor. Um, all wonderful. They started 4.2 million for the lower penthouses, and they went up to about 13 million. Uh, but good news, we did sell the triplexes already. Um, both of them are on the good contract now, which is great. And there was a record sale actually not only for Casa Bella, but also for the entire neighborhood um, south of um, MacArthur Causeway. So kind of that uh, Edgewater slash downtown mm -hmm. area. Uh, so it was a very, very good sale for us, but we still have six penthouses remaining and uh, duplexes are just amazing with 23 foot ceilings and uh, amazing finishes. The kitchens are all um, really, really high end. Uh, from Palma Italia, obviously you get finishes um, that are only exclusive to the penthouses, like the selection of flooring. Uh, okay, where, where, where to sign? Uh, here, let's, sign here. Let, let, let's pick the floor plan for you. Uh, they're really, like really great really deals, explain. I have to say. Um, let's take a look at them, maybe at the model unit. And oh, show absolutely. Them. Let's go. Let me show you. So which one is the, the one that you said? been sold oh for the penthouses yeah. so we actually sold the southeast corner which is the top over oh. here it's uh -huh. a it was a triplex with the private pool um the other one on the contract is a triplex on the northeast corner same with the private pool but we have everything in between we have our duplexes we have our lower penthouses and we have another collection it's called sky collection mm -hmm. um it's a limited collection of units with higher ceilings they have 11 foot ceilings or larger floor plans it's only four units per floor so we have a lot of exclusive units on the top okay and what is the sizes, like the biggest units, smallest units, let's go. Uh, so we have total of 319 units. We never had studios here. So mm -hmm. this always um, has been meant, uh, like the project concept is residential, uh, people uh, to enjoy living in the, in the building, right? So we never had small units. Even my one bedroom mm -hmm. average, I want to say about 1,100 square feet. Okay, so size. they're quite big. Pretty generous. Um, yeah, two bedrooms average about 1,600 square feet. Mm -hmm. um, three bedrooms, I have them all kinds of sizes, starting at 2,000 square feet, but they go up to over 3,500. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then, of course, the penthouses, which the larger ones are on the contract, those were over 6,000. Uh, but I, I have everything in between a lot of larger inventory between 3,000 and 6,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, I see that a lot of people, empty nesters, locals, mm -hmm. they're looking into that kind of product. And mm -hmm. we've been pretty successful selling those larger units to actually local Miami buyer um, looking to, you know, downsize from their single family mm -hmm. home. Um, so let me break down the building for you so you understand. It's 56 floors. Um, but when you look here, uh, there's only eight units per floor and the mm -hmm. lower floor is including the structure, but you go higher, it's seven units per floor, six units per floor, and then you end up with four and three units per floor. Mm -hmm. So it's not a really large floor plate. Um, you don't have hallways with the lots of doors. All elevators are private. You have mm -hmm. a private um, elevator, actually two private elevators per unit with a private foyer. So um, you're never going to walk down the hallway with a bunch of doors. And it is a small floor plate, which is uh, really good. We have um, a lot of corners still available. Um, you know, corners are very popular. Mm -hmm. So we actually have our northeast corner, which is very popular. Uh, we have uh, our three bedroom corner which is a premium line and I'll explain why um, and we have some units on the uh, southwest corner um, when you look at the building first question your buyers are going to ask you where's the water where do I see um, and the water is this way right mm -hmm. um, and all the units they're actually you can't see it from the front but they Thanks. all have that slanted angle right they're mm -hmm. all kind of looking a little bit on the angle why because there is a port of Miami imagine behind mm -hmm. me um, beautiful beautiful view and once you go up I want to say 12th floor and above you really it, it opens up and it, it's just absolutely gorgeous obviously being in this line or one line not only are you capturing the water you're also going to capture the skyline of mm -hmm. Miami, which is, you know, downtown is, is going to be like a Hong Kong of, uh, of Florida because there's so many new buildings, cool buildings coming, including Waldorf, 100 stories. So that will be really, really mm -hmm. an amazing view, an amazing opportunity to own a unit in there. So but every unit is unique and special in its own way. And every unit has a great view. How about a couple of questions mm -hmm. I have? Uh, balconies how deep is the balconies so the balconies as you can see it's a wave mm -hmm. so you will have a maximum of 7.5 feet which is pretty deep and it goes to about 5.5 feet um, so you will have enough space to put a nice dining table dining set outside so it's quite quite big mm -hmm. okay no. and the elevators you mentioned is a uh, Private elevators, is there um, service elevators as well? Uh, you have, um, basically the way it operates, you have two elevators mm -hmm. per unit. So one will uh, operate as a service elevator if needed, mm -hmm. if somebody's moving in or moving out. And the second one will operate as your main elevator. So you have uh, basically 
uh, two units will share two elevators, right? Mm -hmm. They open uh, opposite yeah. ways. So you have, uh, let me tell you, eight elevators in the building in total. Okay, and the prices you said it's about 900 a foot starting, They right? start at 900 a foot. Obviously, the lower floors are going to be where I have that type of pricing, and it's mm -hmm. a great um, investment opportunity with the city view, and, you know, they're, they're great in their own way. Um, as you go higher, I want to say we average right now about $1,100 per square foot, not mm -hmm. including the penthouses. Um, so so every kind of price, you know, to give you an idea, I have a one bedroom starting in 940000 but it's a large unit. Mm -hmm. All of my one bedrooms at this point, they have a den, they have a second bath, so it's a large unit. Um, and we do have a lot of, you know, amenities to enjoy in the building. We haven't talked about that. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the building, yep. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's uh, my me, next question. Yeah, that was, I, I'm, I'm ahead of you. So with the amenities you have, Two full floors of amenities um, on the 10th, 11th floor. You have a pool deck on the 11th mm -hmm. floor, which we have redesigned. Actually, we improved it and uh, it, it looks just incredible. And then there is a rooftop pool. So you have your two pools, um, two floors of amenities. And the first floor, it will be dedicated to retail. And this mm -hmm. is what you're going to see happening in downtown. Every building has um, the ground floor dedicated to some commercial mm -hmm. retail. And that way you build out the infrastructure becoming more pedestrian friendly, more walkable. So we going to have Italian restaurant here. Uh, we're very close to signing um, an agreement uh, with retail the, is not for, for sale. It's right? not going to be for sale. We're we're going to deliver the building with tenant in place. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to also add value because it will be a celebrity chef. Very well known. Um, it will cater to this arts community because, like I mentioned, you have the arts and entertainment center, but also the convenience of having the restaurant in the building. Not only that, the same chef will operate there's a, a lounge inside uh, mm -hmm. this floor on the 10th and 11th floor so you have like a cafe so limited menu but you'll have a really beautiful bar almost like think of like a speakeasy you know the whole ceiling to uh, to floor shelves of liquor you know it's really pretty and you'll have that access for residents only you know by the pool you can have a drink and food you can take it to your unit or if you want a full menu then you go downstairs but having food and beverage in the building is just so cool you know yeah, it's very convenient yeah. for sure and how about uh, HOA? I didn't ask. How much is the maintenance? Uh, the HOA is ninety-five cents 90, per square foot, so okay. very reasonable. I know uh, people are like, oh, well, is it going to go up? Uh, you know, chances are maybe yes. you know three, four it years will. from now, it's you know how it goes. Now. We all know how it goes, yeah. but we're starting very low, and mm -hmm. that includes all your basics. You know, your basic cable, internet, mm -hmm. uh, your water. You know, all the services and amenities in the building. Okay. And uh, let's talk about finishes. Let's go. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Kit. Let's let's show you After. around. So finishes, um, what's included? Okay, so you know the nice thing about uh, our project is that we're delivering everything ready, mm -hmm. right? And it's uh, Italian finishes. Piero Lusoni himself handpicked everything. Uh, we were actually uh, building out the model and waiting for pieces to be brought on the plane from Italy, like pieces of the countertop, for example. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you what's included. The kitchens are Italian from Italy Cross. So everything you see behind me, it's uh, everything is, is standard. It's it's typical for all of the units. We are for the white porcelain cotter you can see how thick mm -hmm. it is it, it really is, is yeah. an amazing amazing uh, piece um, the cabinetry you have this off-white combo with the wood mm -hmm. uh, people love it you it's very contemporary just... no this is how it comes so okay. you have the the combination of both um, and that comes with every unit you also have your uh, wolf appliance package with mm -hmm. the, that black uh, you know the top of the line M series and then you have your sub-zero uh, fridge and mm -hmm. most of our units will come with a one cooler as well so and depending on the unit the size that one will is vary. the size of the three bedroom right this yes this particular island is actually the size of our three bedroom unit that's three thousand square feet it's mm -hmm. really an amazing deal so i will send you the floor plan okay. um and uh you can see you can probably sit like 10 you people know, in there. i can tell you personally that's how it should be you know for families mm -hmm. it, this is how it should be because sometimes agree. i look at the some of the buildings uh like some of the buildings, like five, six, seven million dollars, but there is a small kitchen island and I'm looking at it. Come on guys, I understand no. you want to sell product as a developer, but you have to think right. about people, right? Because that's Who's where people spend it? their mornings. Yeah, with and the kids, especially families with the kids, you yeah. can put a few chairs in there and you see how wide it is. Yeah. Personally, I would love to cook it. I can tell you the size of the kitchen island it's perfect, it's perfect width, yeah. length. No, 
I, I agree. Mean, it's I agree. And something. It, that it, it's it's a like I mentioned, the units are really they're well thought the floor plans, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of our buyers surprisingly or end users or even if they're second home buyers, these are the important things for them. So they want to see, uh, you know, a nice size island. Another thing that's very convenient, uh, we're delivering with flooring. We used mm -hmm. to offer options of flooring, obviously a little bit earlier on. Now we selected the one the most popular choice of the buyers, which is a, a beautiful porcelain tile. It's large scale. It's like. 48 by 24 um, and it will be included inside and outside so you'll have that beautiful flow it's a very neutral color um, to the balcony and you, I have a sample so you can see okay. and of course for my larger units my penthouse units I'm, I picked out the selection that we're offering now um, we're going to offer them uh, different uh, cabinets they're from Palma Italia which is also Italian brand but it's like they're a uh, very high-end brand uh, we're also going to have uh, besides the porcelain options they can pick from natural stone uh, flooring and I have some samples there um, so with with penthouses, it's a different game. We have uh, in the duplexes the the wine coolers or the dream wine coolers from uh, floor to ceiling almost, right? So you can stack up a lot of wine. Um, so there's some really really amazing features with those. And one other thing I forgot to mention um, comes with the finishes. Uh, the master bathrooms they mm -hmm. come with a really cool you know freestanding tub, uh, which everybody loves. It's so you know nice and elegant. Every master bathroom. Every master, master will come bathroom. with that. So okay. the, including the penthouses. Okay, including the typical units so the we actually reconfigured our bathrooms uh recently and we decided that will be like a better fit more elegant mm -hmm. fit um so really nice modern features as you can see this is something that's never going to get old mm -hmm. right so it's I uh, agree with you. Um, quite nice and a couple of questions mm -hmm. i forgot to ask the ceiling height the ceiling height we started with minimum of 10 feet mm -hmm. minimum as you go higher we have units with 11 foot ceilings that's my special sky collection as you go high obviously penthouse is 12 to 23 foot mm -hmm. ceilings depending on the unit type so they're they're quite uh tall yeah. okay and how about the parking spaces parking are is is very good situation here so i'll tell you i worked on many other mm -hmm. projects before and we have um a parking space included with every unit here uh one bedroom you get one assigned parking space two bedroom you get one assigned plus valet and then larger units you get uh two assigned whether it's in the tandem or side by side it kind of the floor plan and the size determines that um so and then of course you have the extra valet that's included in your hoa mm -hmm. okay. but most importantly every unit has a parking spot. So did we miss anything or we cover all? I think we covered most of it. The final thing I would like to mention is the payment plan. Mm -hmm, okay. um, we are asking for 40% deposit, but as you know, we're breaking it down. So it is very easy for the mm -hmm. buyer. Um, at this point, we're only asking for 20% of contract. Once we break ground, we're going to ask for additional 10%. And then finally, at the top off, when we complete the shell of the building, it's mm -hmm. going to be additional 10%. So it allows buyer time to complete the payments. There is a little bit of room to negotiate that if you know you need to. Obviously, we'll work with you and your buyers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much for your time, for your presentation. Mm. It was a very, very knowledgeable presentation. It was good to see you all again. No, good to see you as well. Mm. Come again. Thank you. <laughs>